What's up everybody, so for this video, just want to talk about something very important. So make sure you just like, share, subscribe, leave your comments, and uh, I'll see you in the next video, okay? Just check if we're streaming live, so you just wait and uh, watch the live stream. It's very, very important. In the live stream, you can ask your questions. There could be different things that could go on. So for today, we just want to talk about... Um, um, five things you should start doing as an entrepreneur. Okay, I'm gonna give you up to seven things you should start doing. You should do them for success sake. Number one thing you should start doing as an entrepreneur, a person who has a business and you have control over everything, you have power over the business, what you should um, start doing and what you should not do. Okay, for today I'm just gonna talk about what you should only do. Okay, five things you should do and uh and uh, and uh, i may increase to seven okay depending on the time i have so the first thing you should start doing as an entrepreneur number one is you definitely you definitely have to start getting knowledge okay um someone i just got an, uh, an inform some information just now and uh just reached to me that we can't really create money rather you get money okay and how is this possible check very well the money you have just now after some time another person takes it out of your hands right that is it so you really should not be asking the question how to make money but I should be asking the question how to get money okay that is information information is power when you as when you get this information like this liberation of energy so as an entrepreneur number one thing you should, you should prioritize is reading okay get knowledge for books different videos etc that's one thing you should do number one then number two you should do is as an entrepreneur don't be afraid of customers okay the many business owners many entrepreneurs are afraid of customers if you are afraid of them then how can you save them well don't be afraid of them set up if you're having a digital business set up a good punishment system for those that break your law break the rules okay you should also save people well too don't abuse it but you are doing that to create a smooth system and for you to be able to supply for you to be able to deliver at your best level okay so that is what you should also do you don't be afraid of customers okay don't be afraid of customers but care for them in in girl science we always say this that we fear that we care for customers doesn't mean we fear customers don't fear customers care for them instead because if you fear them you can't save them if you fear them you will let them call the shots if you fear them they will be the one they would they, if they paid for anything like they will be the one running everything like that is it okay so you see yourself as superior if you are an entrepreneur you have a product okay whenever customers pay, pay for it, that person is paying for it because that person no less than you do so see yourself superior by the time you fear customers the opposite goes on and it's not true you understand it for instance digital business let's say you have online courses you sell online courses and you're afraid of customers the person pays you to teach him something and you're afraid of the person like that's gonna turn the they're gonna turn the stone upside down why because the customer is not gonna look like the person who is teaching you <laughs> that's how that's what fear does in the case of online courses then uh for other things it manifests in different ways so make sure you just be very careful around that don't be afraid of customers care for them don't be afraid if you lose some customers definitely you lose some Go to Amazon reviews page and you will see people complaining, but that doesn't stop the cash flow coming into them. That doesn't stop it, okay? So understand that customers will definitely leave you. So don't be afraid of them, okay? It's very, very important. So when they leave you, it's not probably, it's not a full stop to your whole business, okay? Like, it's not a full stop to your whole business. Understand that. So number three, the, the third um, um, thing you should be doing right now as an entrepreneur is this. Understand that you have more power over your business than any customer. Okay, for instance, a customer may tell you, hey, man, I'm tired of this stuff. I'm tired of your business or I'm tired of what you sold to me, this and that. Yeah, to me, I did not feel satisfied. I don't feel satisfied, this and that. And you try to reach that person. The person is still uh, um, obstinate. You try to actually improve the service. The person is still obstinate. That's all you can do. Just leave that person. That's the best thing you should do. Now, what's the lesson from what I just said right now? What you should do as an entrepreneur from what I have just said is you understand that the customer has less power than you think over the business. Okay? What I mean is this. If the customer tells you, if one customer tells you, I don't want to buy your stuff again, finish. That's just one. Okay? It doesn't stop the rest of people from actually buying your service, buying your product. It doesn't stop them. 
okay but if you say okay full stop to my business right now who is going to bring it up nobody is going to really hand it's going to really close down that's the more power you have over your business you have more power over your business than any freaking customer you will definitely have angry customers definitely so expect that so when that happens when you expect it it's not going to be strange it's not going to be hurtful to you anymore so understand that fact okay so you have more power more than your, you have more power than your customers so whenever you are around your customers here and there you want to pedal something to them you want to sell something to them or you have sold something to them understand that you have more power if you possess all these things i've talked about you will see a new you okay every business has has an image the business your business image is going to be strengthened okay to be able to really save people okay so understand this part so that is the reason so i believe we have four right now like you understand that you have more power than your customers i get information they don't be afraid of customers then the, 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 the other one i think is three the four is is you should or you should always always give your best um give your best Give your best in everything you do. For instance, in the product you're setting up, give your best. Think of um, sometimes you have to think like um, a bad person if you are setting up a business. If you have a product, it's selling digital products, you have to think like a bad person. What if you're a bad person? How would a bad person destroy your product? So you think that way so that you can guide against it. So if you are setting up a digital business here and there, you have to really think very well. Protection should be your main goal. If you're having a physical product, what should be your main goal is durability. Like how long will this thing last? Okay, is this thing solid? You should think about about all those things so if you are setting up if you're an entrepreneur one thing you should start doing is thinking you should start thinking if you are a digital marketer start thinking what kind of product are you really selling and trying to pay to people is it does it actually solve problems what is the four three four things that you can say about that thing that people can't resist even if they resist it it's because they don't have the cash with them okay so um you should start thinking that's another thing so as an entrepreneur one thing you should start doing is thinking start thinking if you are setting up a business or is a product from scratch you have been a product from scratch that physical product or digital product think about protection first if it's a digital product protection because many people just want to be they also want to feel safe doing anything on the internet so that is one thing you should consider okay it's a big big factor okay to not drop in or do it for success sake it's not for your sake you just want your stuff to be successful right then then do it and the last but not the least is you have to be patient you must do this part check all successful people you know today donald trump Donald trump is is up to 70 years right many people want to get the success he's having right now is the age he is right now is at 70 probably 70 plus but many people at at that 20 years or 22 that you know trump um, um um you are 22 right now you want the success of a 70 years old hard work like that's not gonna work okay usually so learn to really be clear your head clear your mind okay then learn to be patient be super patient because it doesn't come overnight okay they are they, they just just make sure you are on the right track make sure you are not fooling yourself you're not wasting your shots then um just clear your head and be patient that's that's the last you should do it's a must everybody did it okay uh, there's a guy with a version he's having over he always gets according to him gets 36 million dollars every year he bought seven cars in one year he travels all over the world right now he has a channel of his own was the version lives in the u.s what he said he said he said the same thing too when he was giving his story he said he had to be patient for i think seven years his own was seven years other people were more than that uh, he said he mentioned another person too that was even longer than he, his own that he, uh, that's the time they took to to to, re, to wait for whatsoever they were working so hard for so what am i trying to say patience you really have to be patient it's a big, big factor so that's an entrepreneur these are the things you should do but this doesn't mean you shouldn't make sure you start getting your cash okay you should try as much as you can to make sure you start getting a good cash flow in your business that's one of your core going one of your goals okay when you don't get it like stay patient okay when i'm saying patient i don't mean if you don't have the cash flow then just relax no try your possible best to make sure the cash flow system the system for the cash flow is properly established then, then wait for the system to start generating you the cash flow. So this is all we have. Goodbye. Until next time.